Right, ladies and gentlemen, I have come up with the well thought out, calculated conclusion whilst you've all been asleep, it didn't take that long, that the Biden administration is nothing but one big fat troll. And that's big of me to say, that's huge of me to say, being as I'm a British dude, accent gives it away, right? And our politics scene is very well um, interesting to say the least. I don't even know if we've still got a prime minister at this point. So this makes it a, a lot worse. I'm sure you've all heard the news by now surrounding the women's basketball player, Brittany Griner. Wait, am I allowed to say women's basketball player? Is that allowed? I, I don't know that. It's a video for another day. <laughs> but this woman who had played for years in the off season for a Russian women's basketball team had been detained since February when she was arrested on drug smuggling charges involving cannabis at an airport in the Moscow region and was in August sentenced for nine years for doing so. Now, nine years is a bit extreme for cannabis, right? Let's be honest, but I guess rules are rules and such and such. However, this woman, for some reason, this women's basketball player just became a great deal of importance for the Biden administration. I'm sure there's many Americans out there who have been arrested wrongfully that need their help, but no, 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 no. Women's basketball player, we need you. What? So to get her back, they decided to uh, partake in a little exchange deal with Russia. You know, like in the playground when you were younger and you would trade Pokemon cards with your friends. However, America just traded a shiny Charizard for a basic healing card. Watch this. Because in return for Brittany Grainer, they have given Russia notorious arms dealer Victor Bao, aka Merchant of Death, who had been imprisoned within the US for 12 years. America, the land of the free, the great nation it once was, has now just swapped a weed smoker for a Russian arms dealer. Smoke weed every day. This man is going to potentially help Russia in some way in the future, right? Let's be honest. How is this woman going to help you? How is this woman going to help America? Wait, hold on. I know how she's going to help America because she's all for the woke ideology because didn't she say in 2020 that she doesn't think people should be singing the national anthem during their season, which I assume that was during the time of the whole BLM situation. They've just brought back somebody who doesn't even respect the national anthem. Huh? Smoke weed every day. And with her now being released, right, doesn't that mean you now have to also release every single person that's in prison for cannabis charges? Oh, no, yeah, you won't. So why would you go out of your way to get this woman back to your country? It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I mean, at least, right, at least her girlfriend is happy about this, which is a positive I guess, I mean, it's starting to really come together as to why they actually got her out of Russia. Speaking in the Oval Office, Brittany Griner's wife, Cheryl, praised the efforts of the Biden administration in securing her release. I'm just standing here overwhelmed with emotions. Yes, and I'm overwhelmed by the bull****. Here she is speaking. So over the last nine months, you all have been... Um so privy to one of the darkest moments of my life. And so today I'm just standing here um, overwhelmed with emotions, but the most important emotion that I have right now is just sincere gratitude um, for President Biden and his entire administration. Um, he just mentioned this work is not easy and it has not been. There's been so many hands involved. And so I'd like to take a moment to just specifically mention a few. Uh, Vice President Harris, Secretary Blinken, Jake Sullivan, Joss Geltzer from the National Security Council, Roger Cartson and Fletcher Schoen from the Hostage Envoys Office. Um, a special thank you to Governor Richardson and Mickey, um, the Mercury Players, the WNB PA for your advocacy. And also, um, you guys may not know this, but um, my family has been tremendously supported by the Washington um, agency, BG's agent. Hey, okay, we get the point. Now, interestingly, right, there was another country who partook in this little exchange deal that went on between Russia and America, and that was Saudi Arabia. According to a joint Saudi UAE statement, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman played a leading role in mediation efforts, along with UAE President Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Look, I tried my best with that, okay? 
don't shoot the messenger. The heir to the Saudi throne had good relations with Russia's Vladimir Putin, and in September, he helped coordinate a complex swap of hundreds of prisoners held by Russia and Ukraine. Yep, that's all very nice, that's all very heartwarming, uh, who cares? Uh, but I'm only bringing this point up because the Biden administration, a Biden spokesperson, is denying that Saudi Arabia had any involvement whatsoever. She came out and said, no, 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 there was no involvement. But then in the same speech, thanked Saudi Arabia for all of their efforts. I mean, this spokesperson anyway, doesn't even look like she wants to be there anymore. Take a look. Quick question on Saudi Arabia's involvement in securing uh, Glenda's release. Um, how do you view the Crown Prince's involvement here? Do you view this as an act of good faith? And how do you think uh, this will help them uh, as the US uh, reevaluates its alliance with Saudi Arabia? So, um, as I've said before, uh, this negotiation was between the U.S. government and Russia. Um, and uh, that's how we were able to secure uh, Britney's, uh, Britney's uh, release. And I, won't have, I don't have anything further to share on that. Uh, so there, was, there were U.S. officials on the, on the background call this morning thanking the Emiratis, for example, uh, but there was no explicit mention of MBS on the role he played. I mean, are, is the administration still extending um, their gratitude or, or thank you uh, to? So, again, the only countries that negotiated uh, this deal were the United States and Russia. And there was no mediation uh, involved. We are grateful for the uh, UAE, as the president mentioned, as I am mentioning now, for facilitating uh, the use of their territory for the exchange to take place. Uh, we are also grateful to other countries, including Saudi Arabia, that released the issue of our wrongfully detained Americans with uh, Russian government uh, that raised that issue. Uh, but uh, again, I don't have anything more to say. May honestly, yeah, the quicker the Biden administration just gets out, the better for everyone and my mental health. And I'm not even in America, and I'm still struggling to come to <laughs> come to terms with the fact they swapped the female version of Snoop Dogg with a Russian arms dealer. It makes no sense whatsoever. There are other Americans out there who need your help, who are struggling. Right? But you've decided to go with this one. No, no, no. She's the one we need. There is no way Biden, after signing off this deal, has gone home and looked in the mirror before he gets into bed and says to himself, you know what, sir? You have done a great job today. You have just brought home a women's basketball player. Nobody even watches it. Smoke weed every day. I really do feel sorry for Americans, man. I really do. But what is your guys' opinions on this? What is your opinion on Biden bringing back this women's basketball player and swapping her for a Russian arms dealer? Are you happy? <laughs> do you think it's a stunning and brave move? I would like to know. I don't even know why I ask you. I'm just sure all of you are just as confused as I am, or if not, maybe even more angry. But if you have enjoyed today's video, then please, for me, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Please, for me, make sure to always, always have a great day and stay safe. I'm out. Peace. See, that was a bit off cue, wasn't it? I'm out. Peace. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. It doesn't make sense, man. Smoke weed every day.